Throw a rock into a pond. Ripples fade away. What's up guys, Eternal here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Diana after her rework. I've been playing against Rice. Let's start with Doran Ring and Q first. So let's get to her skill explanation. On passive Diana gains 10% bonus attack speed. After casting a spell the bonus is tripled for 3 seconds and every first strike leaves nearby enemies for an additional 20 magic damage. Scaling with ability power. So this is your Q, you deal magic damage and afflict enemy with moonlight if you then cast your E on the target affected by your Q you will get a reset of your E because your E is a dash now instead of ultimate the abilities got swapped so you can do like this and you get a reset so usually you want to start with either W or Q and take W second just here I found a way to dash on rise a bit so it depends on the matchup but now Diana can be played much more aggressively and she can follow up her jungler effectively dash really helps now before dashing it's worth loading up your passive so do two autos and then And just I used my E to get away, so now you kind of have the way to escape from the gang, which is good. Playing with teleport, Diana has enough damage. Your W is a shield that deals magic damage as well. The shield lasts for 5 seconds, and now. It also has the scaling with your health. So I'll be using the bears build, but of course items like Rod of Ages or Hextech Protobot make sense, especially with the health scaling. So you create three spheres that explode on contact with enemies, healing magic damage and you gain temporary shield that absorbs damage if the third sphere detonates the shield increases. Always try to land your Q on both your enemy and minions at once. Now it's a bit easier to make great use of your passive because you don't have to do these three auto attacks in between abilities, instead you just press one ability and then for the next three seconds you get increased attack speed. Okay. That's fine, I'm going to engage. Okay, interrupted. This is bugged. And that was your ultimate. So now there's an additional effect on it. It used to work as your old E, but Speaking of ultimate, in case you didn't know that, you reveal and draw your enemy within the area and slow by 40% for 2 seconds. If Diana pulls in one or more enemy champions, she deals magic damage in an area increased for each target beyond the first pull. Overall, the burst got nerfed a bit. 
So this ultimate really helps. Is that? So here I was sure that Rice will die anyway. So I used my E stack, but generally you should be always aiming for that reset. So cast Q, especially in longer duos, just to maximize the damage and increase chances of successful fight. So here's the icon showing you the additional attack speed. Like here. I have Q, then I press W to renew that. You can also use your E on the target affected by Moonlight. And this is really essential for the split pushing moments as Diana, because her split push is great. Listen is coming and your standard combo with 4 abilities available is QEW Autobat. Here I didn't have my Q but I didn't need a reset to kill him. Let's teleport. Hey, so that's it. And you see, attack speed. There are many builds that can work on the new Diana, but this one is something that I think you will enjoy. So it's 40% CDR. It can really impact the cooldown of your ultimate later. Having that um, really low cooldown will be so fun and you'll be more impactful in the team fights, and especially if you are learning Diana. Then this will increase margin of error. This can end badly. Nah. Maybe Listen will kill me. Who knows? It depends if he's around or not. He isn't. So, that cup first. Yes. Found no room for Spellbinder in this build because I'd be going with Nashor's tooth. So that's why. I see the damage. Oh. Are you walking there? No. Wow, close. There's Ravenous Hunter will provide great healing later. 
Oh. Unfortunate. I was trying to predict her movement. Was wrong. Once you get one of those hunter stacks, try to kill the whole wave for better healing. Buff Kaisa is there. Okay. That doesn't require the use of ultimate, so I'm saving that. Where are you going? If there's important crowd control effect then you can save your ultimate because it can interrupt channeling spells. So you can be creative with that. Oh. No, I died in such a way. I thought that my allies would get closer. Okay, he's dead. With this playstyle, you can really split push, because your attack speed is going to be insane. And this will increase the win rate, because even if you play behind, if you do this playstyle, you are much more likely to win. And you can get fat easily on these waves, and it's also hard to deal with you. You can surprise your enemy. People underestimate Diana. Diana Her mana pool got increased and there's mana flow bands so you don't have to worry. Look at this. Isn't that great? So, my team is losing, that's okay because I'm still split pushing. And I'm forcing my enemies to back now. Should I sacrifice? Okay, it's worth. All top lane taken and that's the lane that won hearts, so I think it's huge. And they only took like one to red or yeah, one to red. So that's it. That was worth it, and I'd be impactful for team fights as well. My cooldown is only for 56 seconds at rank 2, that's huge. I can choose to help them immediately. Okay, I'm gonna help. See what this build can do. Uh, 
Because you already have enough damage, now you can go Zonia and I think this build is really balanced. And as you can see, you don't really need to build Rod of Ages or something. I can do that in other videos like trying top lane Diana. Top lane Diana it really makes sense and can be fun. But here it's totally fine to go like this. I have to recall this time, I don't have teleport and taking this turret won't be that impactful when my allies are at such low health. I needed some mana back. I thought that I won't have to use my ultimate. Okay. Oops. Here if I didn't use my ultimate on Kaisa, it would be such good ability to engage at three enemies, so my bad. can do Baron. I'll fight them. Okay, there's Listen. I wonder if he knows. Should have done E just without Q. But that was greedy, hoping that he's in range. Wow. 
Haha. <laughs> Saw that. And here's my dash. I have so much gold to spend anyway. So this is the full build. I have even more magic pen. Should be fun. So this is 40% CDR. Huge magic pen. Ready to carry. Like with this build, even if things go bad, you can as well teleport to enemy base and finish. So I think it's good. We can do Baron quickly, I think. Diana is melting this Baron. I'm constantly getting resets. See? Okay. Hmm. Going for that base. Look how easily Diana is able to melt this. Okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something about Diana. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.